Part two you want? Yes, I have part two. Part two, you've come back because part one was so good, so tasty, like a Lay's potato chip. you got to keep eating. Mm. So you came back for part two, and that is fabulous. Here's what's special in part two. In part one, from a factoring lesson from mathforbreakfast.com, you learned how to factor out a, a trinomial. And the trinomial in that problem was, was cute. He said, hey, the cute little trinomial, I can factor that one. It was the x squared plus 7x plus 12 or something like that. And, it, and now we've got to this trinomial. And this trinomial, it's got hair and body odor and boils and stuff. And you're thinking, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Well, here's the deal. These, these are new glasses. I got them a few weeks ago. And, and they are, what shall I say, old man glasses, right? They, they allow me to see far, and then they progress, and they get bigger and bigger magnifications so I can see near. Uh, I can read all the fine print on my medication and my vitamins and stuff like that, right? And, and so I need this, this type, different type of lens. Well, I've never had these before because I was an old man before, so now I am. And, and so I get the glasses, and I go out of the store because I have to go home. And, and so I open the door, and there's a step. And I'm like, well, there's a step. And so to see the step, I look down. Now, looking down, of course, brings me into the magnification part to help me see all the fine print. And so now the, the step is, is this big, and I'm like, oh, I'm trying to get over the step and the balancing. And, and the people in the parking lot, they're gathering up their children, going, I mean, that man's on math, and they stay away, and, and I'm trying to get to my car, and a few accidents on the way home, and then I get to my house, I put on a bike helmet, to, and football pads, trying to stay safe, and, 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 but now I'm okay, right? I mean, obviously I haven't fallen on the camera, or drooled on myself, and I got used to it. I practice, I practice, I practice, I can do it, you can do it too. Let's see what happens. We're going to factor this, and we're going to use the steps we already know before. Step zero, read the instructions and look at the problem. Well, we see factor, that means split it into things that multiply back to the problem. Look at the problem, I see a trinomial. We already know those steps from part one, so we apply them here because we see a trinomial. Let's see how that goes. Step one, factor out common monomial. So factor out common, mon, always check. I can't emphasize that enough. If you don't check it and there is one, it makes the rest of the problem painful. We don't want that. No pain. In this case, no pain, no gain, really. It's di so always check. Well, in this problem, we do have a 3x that can factor out, leaving us with a 5y squared plus 7y minus 6. And to figure that out, go to my lessons on factoring out common monomials to see how I got there. But this 3x was able to come out of all three of these terms. Well, that's great. And we have factored, but we're not done because we should always keep going. Here's a trinomial, and the lessons from part one will teach us how to do it. And then, oh, this trinomial is a little cuter. I can, you can kind of chew. I can just chew on that one. So we're going to just focus on this, and I'm going to put a little sign off here. Remember me, all right, with an exclamation point and a little heart, all right? Remember me. Don't forget the 3x, but let's just put it aside while we focus on the 5y squared plus the 7y minus 6. Well, to do that, I need to do step two. And step two is um, to multiply uh, first and last coefficients and write out the uh, factors just like it was in part one. Okay, so I want to multiply first and last coefficients, write out the factors. I'm going to focus here, moving some space down here. So notice my space, 5y squared plus 7y minus 6. And I want the space because I want these notes for you. Plus means add and the same signs. And minus tells you to subtract and it tells you different signs. All right, so just keep that in mind. But the, the, the problem says to take the 5 times the 6 and get 30. Great. Step 2 also says to write out the factors. 1 and 30, those are factors. 
of 30, and I want to know, do I want the 1 and the 30? Well, this minus sign tells me to subtract this time. So I'm going to subtract 30 minus 1 equals 29. Huh. 29 doesn't look familiar, doesn't ring a bell, doesn't resonate. So I don't want that. X, no way. Um, 2 and 15. Well, 15 minus 2. Notice I'm just taking big minus small. Keep it simple. That's my motto here. 15 minus 2 is 13. Looking back at the problem, don't see a 13. Don't feel it. It's not in the air. No way. 3 and 10. Well, 10 minus 3 equals 7. Oh, yeah. Doing the trinomial. So we do the trinomial, and we got the 7 matching the 7. That's good. Big smiley face, kind of like that kind of smiley face. Well, we've done it. Step 3 says, using the 3 and the 10, we're going to split this problem up a little bit. So I'm going to do some erasing here. Don't forget to remember me with the little heart, Peter Patter. All right, um, Twitter was that little monomial out there, and just don't forget about it. So I'm going to keep the stuff that makes me happy here, right there. And so the 3, the 10, all right, that's what we want to remember. So we're going to take what we had before. Um, we had the uh, 5y squared, and we had over here the minus 6. But step 3 says, split, I'm going to capitalize that, split uh, middle term using uh, step 2, what we had from step 2, which was the 3 and the 10. So instead of having what I had before, a positive 7y, I'm now going to have a minus 3y and a plus 10y, and then my minus 6. I split that 7y into uh, the minus 3y and the plus 10y. Well, why a minus 3 and a positive 10? I know the 3 and 10 because that's what the two factors were that made me happy, but I have opposite signs, different signs, because my little notes before said when it's a subtraction, when it's a minus, different signs. The 10 is positive because the 7y was positive. Always take the sign of the middle term and put it to the bigger number. And the other one is different, the opposite. There we go. We're almost not quite done. What do we need to do next? Step four. Let me check my notes here for consistency. Step four is factor out common monomial in pairs. All right, well, common mon, common in pairs. We want to work it in pairs here, so I'm going to look at these two, that's a pair, and look at these two, that's a pair. And my common monomial is equal to y, because they both have a y, and that's the smallest power. Over here, my common monomial is equal to 2, because 2 divides into 10 and into 6, and that's the biggest number that goes into both of them. So when I do this, I have y times 5y minus 3, because the y times 5y gives me 5y squared. y times minus 3 gives me 3y. And then I keep the plus to be simple, and I take this 2 out here, and I have 2 times, well, 2 times 5y gives me 10y. And 2 times minus 3 gives me minus 6. So I factored out the 2, factored out the y. We're almost there. Step 5, pull the common binomial out front. All right, I'm just abbreviating binomial with bin, B-I-N. Pull the common binomial out front. That's what this is. And it goes out front. 5 y minus 3. That's a silly 5. 5y five minus 3. And I'm left now with a y over here and a plus 2 over here. There we go. I factored it into binomial times binomial. I factored. I know it's because I know I'm there because they're multiplied together. I know I've succeeded. Except, remember me. Remember me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The minus 3x. 
remember the 3x, exclamation point. So the final answer now is 3x times the 5y minus 3 times the y plus 2. Box it up and boom, baby, to quote Emperor's New Groove. You did it. I did it. We did it together. It was like holding hands, but not, you know, don't call HR or anything. But we've got it. Multiply, 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 all multiplied together. I know I have factored the original problem, and you can too.